This video will be short and straight to the point. I'm going to show you how you can add Google Fonts to your website and we'll take a look at how you can add multiple font styles at once and how to apply different font styles to different website elements using CSS. Welcome to Project Sandbox, my name is Alyash. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So in the previous episode, we have built this simple business car website. If you didn't take a look at this video, you can click on it and watch it right now. You will also get a GitHub repository where you can download this simple website template and modify it to match your company really quickly. And now we will use this same template as our sandbox playground for this tutorial. So let's get started. So this right here is the website project from the GitHub repository, which you can get on my link below. We will open it up in the code editor. We already have the index.html file opened. And we will also open the main CSS file because we need that one uh, to edit the font styles. Okay, so now let's first take a look add how to add Google Fonts uh, to your website. What you need to do inside the hat tag of your website, you need to add those three elements from the Google Fonts. Uh, you will get this uh, code on Google Font website, which I will show you just in a minute. So as you can see right now, we have the Lotto font added with several different font weights we have 300 400 700 900 now this is how our website looks with the lotto font and now we will change this font so let's say for example that you want to use different fonts we will go to the google fonts website where you can find a ton of different fonts which you can use on your website totally for free I have already chosen two fonts that we are going to use. So first font that we will use is called Smooch Sans and we will add this font to our website project. Now we will go into the main CSS file and we will take a look at which font weights are we actually using on the website. So we will Control F to find the font weight parameter as you can see here and we have font weight of 900 then we have 700 and 400 and these are the only three font weights that we actually need to use we don't need to use as many as we have here so we will go to the Google font website and we will add 400 we will select this style, then we will add 700 and we will also add 900. So now we have this style selected and Google has automatically generated this code snippet for us. But because we already have these two first tags added to the website, as you can see right here, so this pre-connect tags has been already added to our template so we only need to copy this part here which actually contains the link to this Google font that we want to use so now we will delete this link to remove the lot of font and add the new font which is smooch sans from Google fonts now save this and if we go back to our website you can see that nothing actually happens. So what we need to do is we need to go to the CSS and find where we have font family specified as Lotto. And then we need to copy new font name, which is Smooch Sans, and replace it with Lotto. And we want to remove this plus in the middle and put it like that. So let's copy and paste this font name 
and search for other locations where this lot of ones appear it's also here and it's also down there so it's only on three locations now we can save this file and refresh the web page and as you can see we already have a new font applied now because this font is a little bit different let's say that this part could be a little bit bigger so we will change the font size first of all we will take a look in our document where we have this business description copy and paste this css class from the index html and search for it inside the main css now as you can see we have the font size of 26 pixels applied here so let's say that we want to use 30 pixels save that and see how it looks i think it looks much better so we will stick with 30 pixels now we will do the same for this information down below we will go to our index html template and as you can see we have info section and info item so let's see which element has the font size applied first we will search for info section and as you can see we have already found our font size down here so we have info section with the link element which has a font size of 18 pixels applied now we will change that to 24 pixels for example save that and refresh to see how it looks maybe a little bit too big so let's put it down to 22 pixels save it and refresh so this is exactly what i was looking for but i also want to use another font for my company name so we will go back to the google fonts and we will take a look at another font that i have picked up this is syra condensed and i also want to use this font but i only want to use it as my company name which is using the weight font weight of 900 so we will go here in the google fonts and we will add this font weight of 900 to our selection and as you can see because we have already opened up this in the same window and added smooch sans font google is already generating a link with this smooth sans font added and now as we select another style google with will add this font into the same link element so now we just need to grab this one copy it and then replace this font link inside our index html with the new one which contains both fonts as you can see so first we have Syrah condensed with the weight of 900 and then we have another font smooth sans with weight of 400 700 and 900 so now what i want to do is i want to replace this company name font with Syrah condensed i will search for under image text css tag inside my main css and as you can see the element is right here now i will replace the font name from smooth sans to syrah condensed i will copy and paste it here and lit this plus and make space instead we will leave the font weight at 900 save the file and refresh the website oh something doesn't work so let's see what is wrong here okay so what i think is wrong we didn't save the changes in the index html file so when you do the change you want to hit ctrl s or command s on the mac uh, on index html file and also on the main css file for everything to be saved and then we can refresh and now we have our new font applied now let's also increase the font weight for this company name we will increase it from 
46 pixels to let's say 52 pixels save that file and refresh this page so this is it now we have two different font styles applied we will also take a look at the responsive design everything looks great and it's still responsive and this is how you add google fonts to your website if this video information was useful to you please like the video and subscribe to my channel for the next episode where we will actually host this website and put it to life